Gravity is a remarkable force. It keeps the Earth in orbit and prevents all matter on Earth from floating into the atmosphere. We experience gravity every time we take a step. It's what glues us to the ground. It is constant in our lives, like walking, breathing, yet we often take it for granted and become complacent to its presence. What most people don't realise is that the force of gravity is one of the leading causes of death in Australia. With falling from height and being hit by falling objects accounting for over 22% of all work-related fatalities. To really appreciate the forces at play, we need to start looking at things differently. Picture a common day-to-day -day activity on site. If this 500 gram spanner was dropped and landed on a person from a height of one metre, although it would certainly give them a headache, it wouldn't be fatal. But this is where the physics gets interesting. At a height of five metres, the same spanner has now reached a speed of 50 kilometres per hour and has the same force as being struck by a jackhammer from one metre. If we moved even higher, to 50 metres, the 500 gram spanner would have enough time to reach its terminal velocity. For the person below, this almost certainly would be fatal. Dropped objects can be in any shape or form. It's not always obvious. First, there's the introduced hazards. It's our hand tools, equipment, maybe even your measuring tape. A seemingly insignificant object while working on the ground becomes a significant force as you increase in height. But it's not just impact force that increases as we gain height. Objects don't just fall straight down. In a refinery, there are many surfaces that a falling object can deflect from. If a 3.7 kilogram tool dropped from 40 metres, contacted a process pipe at 6 metres, the potential deflection could be up to 80 metres. That's half the length of a football field. But what about the hazards we haven't introduced? In an ageing facility, degradation is inevitable. Weakened welds, corroded pipes, rusty bolts, loosened fixings. What are they supporting? If they failed, what would be the consequence? Is there a potential cement mixer hanging off a rusty fixing? These are the sleeping hazards that we can't afford to walk past. We are used to seeing this, but it's these that can become the silent killers. It may be a month, it may be a year, it may be more, but eventually, Let's not walk past. Take the time to put in the necessary controls so that someone in the future doesn't end up injured or worse, killed. As we work, we all have a role to play. Ask yourself, is all the equipment secure? Is the potential drop zone barricaded and protected? Is anyone in the line of fire? Are there any innovative ways to control potential dropped objects? If there is, we want to hear about them. Our people are the strongest link in safety. We need to train our eyes to see things differently. We innovate, share and learn from each other's experience. After all, it's our people that will take South 32 from simply being good at managing safety into world leaders.